you want to include in your planning things like how much warning do you need? I'll use an example of hospitals versus schools. In the case of a school, you may be able to evacuate all the students from the school in half an hour and they all can gather in some safe place around the school. But if you have a hospital that's in the area at risk, the hospital may take hours and hours to evacuate because the evacuation process in hospitals, you typically have to move people in a way that's safe for them. And if they're sick and they're on special equipment for breathing or life support systems, they have to be moved with all that equipment in place. And so it's complicated. I've seen situations where they evacuate hospitals and they end up just having a relay of moving people with ambulances and it takes a long time. And so understanding what types of vulnerabilities are in these hazard areas has a big impact along with understanding how much time they need to do things because that goes into the emergency action plan, trying to give the time and the warning to the places that need that time.